Hello students, good afternoon. Welcome to the online class of class 9 social studies. Dear students, in our last class, we have discussed types of society on different places, on different four places. And we had left two more bases to be discussed. So let's discuss what are the remaining types of society on remaining two bases. Let's start. Yeah. On our last class, we have discussed based on economy, based on language, based on religion, based on settlement. Today, today we are going to discuss types of society based on time based on time so dear students based on time we have two types of society how many types of society two types of society Ancient society, modern society. What are they? They are ancient society, modern society. Swains, the societies where the societies where even today the peoples, inhabitants, or the residents of such place if they are uncultured, uncivilized and even they are living their life in primitive way. In which way? If their lifestyle is primitive, if their lifestyle is ancient, if their lifestyle is without technology. But I have told, if their lifestyle is without technology. They fall under what type of society? Ancient society. They fall under ancient society. If their lifestyle, if their lifestyle is without technology, then they fall under ancient. And if their lifestyle is successful with the help of technology, if their lifestyle is advanced. If their lifestyle is easy and comfortable, relaxable, yeah. If they are too much comfort, if they are feeling too much comfort with the help of technology in their life, it means they are under modern society. They are under the society, modern society. So these are the two 
types of society based on time. There is friends. These five verses which we have discussed till this time is important, but in comparison to these five verses, the message which we are going to discuss now is too much important. That is based on the mode of life. That is based on the mode of life. This space to be to classify society is very much important. So listen carefully. Yes. Under this first one is hunting and gathering. First one is hunting and gathering society. Let me discuss what is hunting and gathering society. Dear students, around 12,000 years ago, around 12,000 years ago, that was the lifestyle where human beings put their first stage in the social life where the human being put their first stage where in the social life if we come to discuss their lifestyle I think you better know it is clear by its name they used to hunt different wild animals for their food for the purpose of their food class yeah not only that but also they used to gather they also used to gather wild fruits plants flowers roots shoots for the food purpose for the purpose of food might it only edible only edible uh, fruits as you better know every fruits around us is not edible is not edible so they used to gather they used to gather such fruits plants their root and source which is edible for the purpose of food for the purpose of food their settlement was not fixed the settlement was not fixed at a proper at a proper place at a specific place yeah they used to have nomads life you better know what is nomads life it means they used to move from one place to other they used to move from one place to others in search of food and water. Yeah, in search of their livelihood. In search of their livelihood. They used to wander here to there in search of food. Their settlement was not fixed. That's why they are called nomadic people. They are called nomadic people. Yeah. They used to hunt animals. They used to gather wild fruits, flowers, roots, shoots 
for the purpose of food. One more thing else I have talked. They used to live the life of nomads. It means they used to travel from one place to another. Next thing about hunting and gathering society is that male, you know, what is male and female? Yeah, better. Male, male uh, of this society used to go out for collecting food, for hunting foods, whereas females of this society is to gather that and used to store them for the future use. Used to store them for the future use. Who? Who used to hunt? And who used to store? Men used to hunt the foods, gather the foods. In the same way, female used to collect that and store that foods for the future use. So these are the lifestyle of the peoples who are from hunting and gathering society. There may be the question in your mind, is this type of society existence today? Is there existence is available today? Sure. Even in our country, Raute group, Raute tribes, which tribes? Raute tribes is from hunting and gathering society. So it is found in our country. It is found not only in our country but also in most advanced country, Australia also. Aborigines is the names of the tribe of the people. Yep. Aborigines is also from the same society. What society? Hunting and gathering society. Hunting and gathering society. Yep. On the basis of modes of life, if I have to discuss next type of society that is pastoral or yeah pastoral or animal rearing society what type of society? Pastoral or animal rearing society. Now from hunting and gathering society, slowly and gradually, slowly and gradually, they used to be depending on cattle. On cattle. Where? On cattle, on uh, animals. Slowly, they used to domesticate animals. They used to domesticate animals means they used to keep some of the animals where? Even in their home. As people today are keeping cow, buffalo, goat as their domestic, domestic animal. Yeah. In the same way, at that time, in pastoral or animal rearing society, people used to domesticate some of the wild animals for the purpose of food. For the purpose of food. For the purpose of meat and some other products that is milk and other others. Yeah. So in pastoral or animal rearing society, people used to be dependent where? On animals. On animals. How? Slowly and gradually they tried domesticate wild animals 
and on that wild and uh, yeah, on that domesticated animals, they was fully depended for the purpose of meat and milk and some other products. In this type of society, 